Good afternoon and welcome to Facebook Live where today I want to talk about intermittent fasting. So what is intermittent fasting? Have you done it? What's your experience? Uh, for those of you who don't know what intermittent fasting is, basically it's shorten shortening your eating window. So basically if you think maybe some people start eating at 6am uh, and maybe you will eat until midnight so that is a big window where basically all your digestive system is working 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 uh, and then your your digestive system your internal organs are not working from midnight until 6 a.m. okay so for a lot of people they are eating and drinking even if it's just a cup of coffee you know a few calories it's still stimulating your internal organs so internal intermittent fasting is just shortening that window of eating so the most popular one is from 12 noon so you would start eating from 12 some people just forget breakfast altogether uh, until 8 p.m. so it's an eight hour window an eight hour opportunity for you to eat your calories now the science behind that the reason it works so well is because then for 16 hours so from 8 p.m all the way through until 12 noon the next day you've then got 16 hours your body can not only detox itself so clean all your internal organs but also it can eat from your fat stores and this is the magic of uh, intermittent fasting so what you're doing is you're giving your body uh, that time to actually eat your fat stores instead of just feeding food all the time now if you are in quarantine at the moment this is the perfect opportunity to try internal fasting uh, if you are um, like myself a fitness instructor you're quite active on your feet uh, then it's quite hard to do internal fasting uh, the way I found around it was I used to start my internal my intermittent fasting at 8 a.m. so just before I taught and then finish so I have my evening meal at 4 p.m. so that way I've got my eight hour window but I've squoze my calories in when I need the most when I'm exercising um, so it's completely up to you when you want to do your eight hours but it must be continuous eight hours so your internal organs get the chance to uh, to refresh and obviously get rid of all those toxins and things like that but more importantly so your body can start burning your uh, fat cells uh, and if you can do that when you're sleeping obviously that's a great thing uh, when I've been doing this before when I've been doing like 8 a.m. till 4 p.m. this is where I've been finding <laughs> sleeping at 8 p.m. it's also a great idea okay so if you've never tried in intermittent fasting before I'll definitely tell you to give it a go and as I said at the moment I'm doing it right now and what I'm doing at the moment is getting up later you probably see today I had my lunch at 12 o'clock uh, and then I'll make sure I have my last calorie of the day uh, before 8 p.m. so I've been to be honest I've been going about 6 p.m. 7 p.m. that's about my latest but as long as you're shortening your window of opportunity for calories uh, not only does it work indirectly so of course if you're only eating at that amount of time you just won't fancy food but as I said the calorie restriction will also start coming in um, so if you haven't tried intermittent fasting definitely give it a go now word of warning guys if you're a diabetic type 1 do not do intermittent fasting because it's probably going to kill you okay so it's really important if you're diabetic type 1 do not do intermittent fasting because 16 hours without food is really not a good idea if you're a diabetic type 2 like me then intermittent fasting is absolutely fine uh, and all of the health conditions there's no other issues with intermittent fasting apart from diabetes type 1 so if you want to find out more about intermittent fasting just have a little google now intermittent fasting and you'll find hundreds of videos loads of information about it as well uh, necessarily you don't need to change what you're eating so that's the other great thing about it just closing that window will help you lose weight uh, if you can start eating healthier things as well uh, then of course that will help if you've tried intermittent fasting please leave us a comment tell me tell me how you've been getting on uh, and if you haven't tried it before give it a go so as I said all you need to do is choose your eight hours your window of opportunity and start eating uh, for those of you who aren't in my private slim brother group you can probably tell 
I've lost another two pounds this week. So since I've been in isolation, I've lost seven pounds, half a stone, feeling really, really great. Uh, and as I said, if you've not tried it before, give it a go and see how you feel. Um, as always, uh, for more of my health tips, go to youtube.com forward slash Jodie Bunting. Bye for now.